Namaste everyone. Welcome back to Movement and Miracles. My name is Megan Campbell and I am literally busting at the seams, uh, excited to share with you what I'm about to share with you today. And as always, you might know about me, I am always on a quest, always, always, always on a quest to learn more, to go deeper in my own healing or my own transformation, my own empowerment. And as a result, I take a lot of classes and workshops and read a lot of books and so on. And over the years, I have noticed myself saying to a few people in my life, and, and it's something that is reoccurring, I've noticed a few times, and even people have pointed out to me, um, that I just felt like there was a missing piece or a tool missing from my toolbox to create data, greater states of healing and, um, and understanding within my own self. And I've been doing you know meditation and yoga and all this stuff daily for years, but I still noticed that there were little parts of uh, my abandonment issues or little pieces of self-sabotage that were still running its course in my life. And I always felt like I had no real control over it. I didn't know how to get from here over to here to really clear out these patterns and these habits. And very luckily, I have stumbled upon one of the most incredible books I've read probably forever other than A Course in Miracles. Um, that is an absolute game changer. It's an absolute life changer. And it's called Taming Your Outer Child, Overcoming Self-Sabotage and Healing from Abandonment. And I think because of the title, a lot of people don't really want to dive in to it. Uh, maybe they don't understand the scope of what is offered in terms of our ability to heal or most importantly, uh, what self-sabotage entails. So if you are anyone who are, is in a relationship that feels loveless or passionless, um, if you are in a relationship, partnership, uh, you know, uh, friendship even, and that there's been betrayal or um, infidelity, for example, if you are someone who has been trying to stick to a diet and feel better in their body for a really long time and finds it really challenging, if you are someone suffering from an addiction, and that addiction can mean a love addiction, a drug addiction, a sex addiction, a alcohol addiction, um, a food addiction, and the myriad of other addictions that we can have, even along the lines of social media, for example. And if you are in a relationship with yourself that feels um, loveless, that feels as though you are still disconnected, again, even from you know all this work that you're doing, this kind of self-help work, uh, and you notice that you continue on with these bad patterns of relationships or these bad patterns um, of eating or these bad patterns of, of sabotage in any way, this book can help. It's absolutely incredible. It talks and deals with so many ways in which we self-sabotage. And what is incredible on top of that is she not only talks about the ways in which we can do it, uh, but how our brain is actually working while all of this is happening and then gives us insane amounts of tools to work through and overcome self-sabotage and the healing of any abandonment. One of the things I really like that she says is uh, we often in psychotherapy were told that you know there has to be a certain memory and we're going to work on that memory to start the healing and actually our part of the brain that stores the emotions, we actually don't have to have a physical memory of a feeling, we have just had to have the feeling. So there could be people in the world, like you even, who have experienced the feeling of abandonment but don't have a direct memory of it. And so there's this reaction that comes through our nervous system and the reaction and the way that we act in the world or act in the relationship or act towards ourself uh, is th what she considers the outer child. And so she gives you tons of different ways to uh, work with this outer child and start healing, get, gaining greater states of empowerment and ultimately transforming your life so that you can live the life of your dreams, you can feel better in your body, you can have more meaningful relationships and so on. 
And uh, I, of course, like I wanted to test out all this before I ran out into the world and started screaming it. I'm now reading it for the third time. I'm halfway through my third. I've been practicing the tools and the tips that she gives as incessantly as possible and have seen amazing and immense changes in my own life from going from here to here, like I was talking about. It's not quick. It's not like popping a pill. It's daily work. Um, but it's simple and it's really, really effective. And I highly recommend to each and every one of you on the other end of this video that you like press the button below and purchase your copy of Taming the Outer Child because like I said at the beginning of this video, it really is the game changer. <laughs> my meditation reminder. <laughs> um, it really is a game changer and I think that if there's anything I could give you and anything I have given you and of all the things that I've given you, um, this is the number one. This is the, the thing that I think will help change your life. Even like if it's for me, there's just these small little pieces left You've made great strides, but there's these small little pieces that you're noticing in ways um, that you're still sabotaging or working to heal. I recommend grabbing this book because it is enlightening. Perfect word for it, enlightening. So, my beautiful tribe, um, I hope you run out and grab your copy ASAP and we can all do this work together um, because I think it's super important work and it's revolutionary what she's talking about in taming your outer child and I give her mad props and love for doing the work that she's doing in the world and helping us all in her way recover and overcome self-sabotage. So much love and um, feel free to press reply to my newsletter and let me know what you think if you've read it if you're doing the work. Also to comment below let me know what you think how you're coming along with the work if you need any support and uh, I love hearing from you. So, namaste. Have a beautiful day.